Hi friends, in this part 14 of this tutorial series, we will see how we can display the list of categories in the edit post page. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new file here under the config folder. It will be a JavaScript file and I'll name this custom functions. Okay, so this in this uh, file, we will create custom methods or, or helper methods which will be used throughout the project okay so the first one I have to start with the module exports uh, object because we want to export everything that we have here in this file and I'm gonna name it select uh, select maybe category or select option okay not equal to this will be a function of course and it will take a status and options okay so what would this will do in this function we're gonna use a bit of regular expression so if you don't know or not familiar with regular expressions you can of course see some tutorials online okay so we want to use the options.fn function here and it will be a little difficult for me to explain this code so you can simply copy it basically it's searching for the uh, value of your category and will put the selected uh, selected attribute uh, onto your category which was the, which is there in your database for that particular post so for example if i edit this post it will put the uh, category on the node.js uh, node.js select node.js option basically okay so I have to wrap this here and plus status it's a bit lengthy and uh, frightening frightening because the expressions are not that easy to understand but if you if you see some tutorials you will be able to do understand that it will take take some time but uh, you will get hold of it okay so it basically checks for this pattern okay this pattern and then puts the selected uh, selected uh, what do you call attribute to that particular option value okay so let's see this in action and how we can use it first of all I have to go to the app JS here and import the new file okay so we'll go to the config and custom functions here okay from this custom functions file I want to export the select option method okay so now we have to use this in our helper in, in our, in our uh, handlebars where we define our default layout you can also define helpers okay it will be an object here and, it, and the first key will be the name that you want to give to your helper function so I'll give it select okay and this will be the, val the key the value will be our select option okay not call it just use it like this so once you have this in place okay I will go back to the admin controller where I am uh, creating this edit route I'll also have my uh, I also populate the the, po the categories here okay yeah, hold on so populate category okay by doing this if I just go back to my edit template here okay so I have my post coming here right 
and with that post we have post dot category right so instead of each because we have only one post I'll use my select helper method that I created select and this will be under this select tag here okay make sure it's under the select tag because we are only targeting the option not the entire select okay the value will be the id of course and it will be the title so for each inside this we will have an each tag because we have multiple categories right and i believe we need to send the send all the categories let me just check that because i believe right now if i if i just do it it will only have the single category but we want a list of categories right so give me a sec yeah so we have to do it a bit differently uh, what I what I will do I'll remove this uh, statement from here okay and in, inside, the, inside the then statement I will use my category model to find all the categories and then cats I'll send it in the view directly okay let's do it this way instead of populating the individual category so categories cats cats like this so now we are sending the uh, list of categories to the to the view okay now here you can use the each helper method and put it like this okay so each category will have an id and a title okay so just, just save it and go back to the browser and refresh okay so now you see since i am on the on this edit post page of the third post and i chose the node chairs as my category so it's showing me the node chairs by default and and of course i can choose any category from here i want okay now let's test the functionality again and I create a new post fourth post let's make it private and choose angular this is the angular post save it you have angular here and if you go to the edit post page you will have angular selected here which is exactly what we wanted right and now we quickly uh, complete the edit functionality here so go to the controller where is it I have so many tabs open let me close few of these uh, model comment model I don't need it okay, post model so in the edit post page this is the get request basically right and we need another method here for edit uh, post submit or like something like that okay and this will again uh, have some attributes let me copy some code from here okay leave it there and now we want to update the post right and we will be using the put method here okay so I'm gonna go to edit and it will be a new method equals to put okay so uh, let's copy the code from here and what do we need we need the id and we'll check what we need i'm copying copying the copying the entire code from here okay and 
I'm going to find the post and if, when we get the post we want to update the post property like post dot title equals to request dot body dot title okay post dot status request dot body dot status post dot allow comments allow comments equals to request dot body dot allow comments okay description request a body dot description post dot category equals to post I'm um, sorry request a body dot category okay, what else we need we need status description status we have five properties here okay all defined now perfect then uh, we are here think I, I need a bracket here uh, remove this and a bracket parenthesis I'm sorry so we need to call the save function then okay post dot save and this will again return a promise updated post okay what do we want after the post updated we want to display a flash message and we will I'll use the template string the post now the title will be updated post or title has been updated up Data. I could spell correctly and I want to redirect the user to the admin slash post section okay let's let's test this functionality okay right go back here so we have everything running no errors so far okay cool and if I change this from angular to PHP this is the PHP post now updated oops so it cannot put method here hmm because we don't have a route remember we need to create a route here uh, in the route section add the routes so delete post edit post and we will have a put route admin controller dot edit post submit all right so this was the missing piece of the puzzle okay refresh it angular i'm going to change php php post now update it hmm it's still not working right now check the name uh of the method that we are using so for delete what did we use we used the delete function here uh, it's new method delete okay and for edit we copy this thing from the delete uh, function right I'm going to copy this entire query string from here edit and put it here okay so what I'll do I will pass the ID also so I will, I'm not passing the ID as, as of now okay so this is post dot underscore ID All right because this route that we have here oops sorry this is expecting the ID also as a parameter okay let's try this it again go back fresh PHP and this time it should work PHP post now oh. come on should be put okay final time right refresh 
PHP post now. Come on, man. Yep, it's updated. So it's updated now. Finally, okay, we had a bit of hiccups, but now it's working. Let's test it again. Go back to Angular, the post has been updated to Angular. Alright, finally, so we are there. We have achieved a lot in this uh, particular section and we have seen uh, the possible mistakes that one can make. And we have also seen how to build custom helper functions okay so with this i'm going to end this this part and in the next part we will see how we can edit categories and possibly work on the front end a bit to display our posts okay so till then please share your comments in the section below and i'll see you soon bye bye